Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, we will now discuss tips now on how to productively study at home since you know, we are in a very abnormal uh, time that we have to consider this is what we call now the new normal and it's not easy to be doing the usual grind studying. Usually, kasi, di ba, uh, there are students who study in coffee shops, uh, libraries, or even have study groups. Eh, tapos, for younger students, uh, they'd like to spend their free time with playmates or going to the mall or cinemas. Yeah. And, you know, for students like us, a little order, or older, uh, we like having a downtime out with our friends. Sometimes, we can have like, a few drinks to relax and go to places. So, you know, now that's not ideal since we're still continuing the fight against coronavirus so for a lot uh, as well they afford unfortunately don't have the proper technology and materials not yeah. to study at home so i hope we can find solutions to that and you know for those who can maybe we can donate to the nation drives specifically for, yes. uh, for students who are less fortunate and okay so tip since we have limited activity now and we're really recommended to stay at home no unless necessary to go out uh, how do you schedule your day um before going along to how to how i schedule my day as you said now we have the a lot of filipinos who are in dire need of help um, one option they can actually take is they can log on to www.worldvision.org.ph and world vision is um an organization that not only is trying to help out those Filipino families in need right now during COVID-19, but talagang their focus is to provide education for Filipino children that are not able to have access to education. So you can either sponsor a child per month and you can send these children to edu to, to school or um, they have special offer special offers. <laughs> they have uh, special ways that you can actually donate and not only help the families but also help the children to be able to have access to to the education that you know that they need right now that they cannot go to school so yeah ayun um <laughs> World Vision visit them a really good organization yeah our viewers okay. a little help diba? okay so go yeah <laughs> so anyway oh, wait um how I stay productive, how I schedule my day, um, I make sure that I have a plan. Um, like I said, not everything has to be planned like, okay, do pages 1 to 5, ganyan. but I do make a schedule of, I need to study credit from 2 to 5 p.m. I need to study Civ Pro from 6 to 8, parang ganon. And I also, and this may seem very masyadong OA, but I also schedule yung mga bagay like, oh, think of blog ideas from 1 to 2, mga ganon. Cook lunch, 10 to 12. Yung mga bagay na yun. Not only does it take time for me that I write it down, na feeling ko productive ako, but at the same time, parang meron akong guide na, uy, may mga kailangan kang tapusin today. So, I try to make sure that I have a plan. I try to stick to it. But if I don't, okay lang din. And then I plan it for the next day. So, adjust your routine into the new normal. Kasi ang hirap eh. Like, yung studying for the new normal. Ito lagi ako sa... Uh, room, tapos the books are just scattered there. So, yeah, parang, isang pader lang nakita mo every day. Um, this became a problem for me kasi ang usual setup ko is sa, either sa school ako, we have a cafe inside our building, or I, I stay in the library, or I, I go to a coffee shop where I have people with me. Kasi my, my way of learning is I'm able to discuss with my classmates like, Uy, Rule 14, Section 3, yun yun, hindi ko maintindihan. And then we discuss, magbabatuhan kami ng, ng, ng answers namin, and then syempre matututo ka na through that. But now, um, I don't have my classmates with me. It's just me and, and, and this laptop. Uh, but I guess my friends and I have found a way to adjust. We have groups and, you know, we, we discuss to each other na, okay, ano yung, hindi ko mag yung question ni ma'am dito sa ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And, and we still help each other. And, uh, I guess apart from just staying in one table, here at home every day, the way I've adjusted is yung mga dati kong normal. I've tried to incorporate it to what I have now. So I study based on my schedule, but I also incorporate my friends trying to help each other out um, with topics. Because honestly, I'm not learning at maximum capacity. It's hard to teach yourself. Uh, sobrang hirap matuto mag-isa. <laughs> Kaya, 
kaya need mo talaga ng ibang perspective from other people so that you know you're not just reading what's inside the book and then you're just gonna write down uh, those answers you really need to hear the thoughts of other people para medyo mapak mali ang iniisip mo parang ganoon <laughs> Totoo yan, like, support system is very important then, no? Yes. To this new normal. Kaya, kasi, you, you know, it makes you feel like you're not alone talaga in this stuff, uh, mm. in the talk right now, na it's so hard to study. So, you can look uh, for your friends who are experiencing the same things, tapos you can rant to each other, di ba? Para lang, yeah. yung feelings mo, tapos, how do you take a break? Ano ba yung ideal break mo? Sorry. An ideal break ko from studying is having a good snack and just binge watching kung ano mang gusto kong panoorin. As in, as in, Forensic Files has nine seasons, compilations on Netflix and there's like 30 episodes in one season and I'm on season nine. So, can you imagine kung ilang episodes ng Forensic Files na napanood ko? The best way for me to just escape from studying is watching a good show, watching a good vlog, and eating a good meal, or having game nights, or wine nights with my parents, or, or my boyfriend who sometimes visits, and ayun lang, I just, I need the old, kumbaga walang bago na ginagawa ngayon to keep me sane. I'm just doing the old things that I used to do, diba? Uh, and, and just adjusting it to how things should be now. Because, of course, if my boyfriend ko, we, we have to social distance, even at home. And uh-huh. when he's here, he's still masked. So, same-same, but he's still masked. And there's social distancing. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. So, that's a good tip, you know? Parang just uh, do what you've been doing the usual way. But, yeah. just tweak lang siya, no? Parang, just feel like how it is. Parang, you don't feel so bad about this whole quarantine. Uh, you can yeah. still break as he did before just you know and then you said kanina take this time to learn something new um diba of course no matter how busy you are you can't deny na ang daming time na nadagdag sa day mo because there's no traffic you don't go out so mas late ka nagigising mas pwede ka mag- maaga try something new like yun nga for me it, it was cooking and I didn't know that I used to love baking um, I didn't know na cooking was something that I would enjoy as well. I love chopping stuff. So, yung mga ganun. So, so, find something new to learn kasi it's a skill that you will have even after all of this is done. We uh, explain to um, our viewers right now na you can still find time to do other activities aside from um, what you are uh, pursuing. Um, you know, as I said na before, I was working even before law school and I was... I felt like I was busy then, but the busy, but the busyness that I feel now is very different. Um, of course, ever since before, education was my priority. You know, if I have something important for school, hindi ako magkasi yes to work. And the same with the situation now. Actually, even more so, because law school to me is number one. As in, even if kunyari, my my work na okay na okay sana, hindi talaga ako magkakal. Kasi to me, yun yung priority ko. So, the performing, the hosting, they've all taken a backseat but are still very important to me. So, kapag kaya ko, gagawin ko. But the only way for me to be able to balance everything that's going on in my life, uh, trying to maintain a social life, trying to... Ayun na, my sister and I started a business, is to really schedule everything. Planning is very important kasi in your mind pa lang, pag nasulat mo na sa papel mo, may kita mo na hindi ko kayang i-add tong isa pang activity. So, bye na lang sa'yo. Pero yung iba, nakaplano na. Planning is so important. Me, um, uh, last uh, few beauty and lifestyle tips for, you know, people like us studying again. Just to uh, recap, last few tips. Beauty tips, I think, would be find a brand that works for you. It doesn't have to be, you know, always an exorbitant amount when it comes to beauty products. I think there are a lot of good drugstore products that will work for you. And it's a trial and error process. Like all the skincare products I have right now, it took me, parang tandana, it took me years to find them. Um, it took me years to really know the brand that works for me. And other brands don't work for me but may work for other people. So, ayun lang, don't be afraid to try new products when it comes to skincare because sometimes you'll find that product that works like magic for you. Lifestyle naman, you know, I don't want other people to think na uh, 
Grabe, kaya niya mag-multitask, yun yung yan. Because I, I don't really see myself as the best student. I don't think I'm the most intelligent student. Um, but one thing I have on my side is that masipag ako. Um, so, ay- ayun lang siguro. The, the one important thing also that I want people to get from the things that I have said today is that pag masipag ka talaga, malayo ang mararating mo. You don't always have to be you know, the person that gets 100 on the exam, but you have to be that person who passed because you put all the work into it and that, yun na lang. Um, you will go far in life if, if you make sure na talagang pinaghihirapan mo yung mga ginagawa mo. So, lifestyle is just work hard, be good to the people around you, and live life well. Make sure you love yourself and the, and the people around you. Oh, very nice. Oh, I agree on that with you and everything you said na just big actually kindness really is a good power of a person no it's a yeah it's uh it makes you uh, makes a person really feel beautiful and you know people will see them as someone that uh, uh you look up to talaga just you be kind and live well now it's said and self love yeah. stay tuned for the next episode only here on Z81 radio manila